Before you hit the water, it's best to be prepared. That's why on this week's fishing tips, Ray Gildow of the Nisswa Guides League and Mandy Urich, the bassing biologist, show us how to properly stock your boat with gear. Hello everybody, I'm Ray Gildow along with Mandy Urich and we're starting the new fishing tip season on Lakeland Public Television. We're very happy that you're with us. We're out here on a beautiful Minnesota day with a bright sunshine and um, Mandy's going to talk a little bit about who she is and I'll talk a little about, a bit about who I am and then we're going to give you a few tips of things that are really important to have in your boat before you go on that first fishing trip. Hi, I'm Mandy Urich, a tournament angler, biologist, an outdoor writer. And I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. I'm also an outdoor writer uh, for a number of newspapers in central Minnesota. And uh, this is our second season doing fishing tips for Lakeland Public Television. And we'd like to kick it off today with some of the key things that you should have in your boat. Maybe not required by law, but I think required by just common sense. If you're in my boat especially, Number one, and it better be a jumbo pack. Nine times out of ten, it doesn't matter if it's if it's a hook, if it's a fish, whatever it is. You don't want to be out in the boat trying to uh, duct tape a napkin to your finger because you're bleeding all over your carpet. So, first aid kit, must have. Second thing to always have in the boat, life jackets. And make sure they're size appropriate, all the way down to the smallest kid to the biggest person in your boat. Another thing that's really critical is having a fire extinguisher and to know where it's at. Not like I just went through a little ordeal trying to find mine. It's very important because if you do have a fire, it's going to happen in a hurry and you need to know where that's at to get to it. So have a fire extinguisher. It's also important, even if the law doesn't require it, maybe you got a 14-foot boat, a real smaller 12-foot boat, still have an extra paddle with you in case something does happen to your motor so that you can paddle yourself out of the dangerous area. Uh, another thing to think about is uh, some kind of a community communication device. Uh, a whistle, uh, as, as simple as a whistle. If you're in trouble somewhere so you can blow that whistle for help, that's going to be something that could possibly save someone's life. Another really important key item to have in your boat is the throwable. And with the throwable, you need to have it actually out of the compartment and easily accessible because there again, someone goes over in a hurry, you want to be able to quick grab it and throw it out to them. So these are a few of the very basic things that you should have when you go on your first trip out to the lake. I'm Ray Gildow, this is with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Year, the Bass and Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.